Testing, testing. One, two, three. This is Joshua Araby, master's student at Villanova University, coming to you live today to give you a very important message. Go Cats. <laughs> and now that I, uh, my message has been sent, I would like to express how fortunate I am for the opportunity for my message to be sent so quickly and for those online to be received at the speed of light. When taking the time to think about the effectiveness of the effectiveness, availability, and readiness of the technologies we use today, like TVs, cell phones, Bluetooth, and satellite connection systems, we often take for granted how much we really use these systems. And as the world continues to advance more, you know, it's hard to imagine a world without them. The technology widely used for communication today is radio frequency technology. A lot, of time, a lot of people spend time using RF tech, but not a lot of people are spent time in thinking about how it's uh, developed, utilized, and most importantly to us, optimized. As RF tech became, becomes more utilized, mainly satellites and radars, uh, need to continue to advance to meet this demand. As the price in creating and developing these systems increases, it's imperative that the life cycle of these systems be optimized to keep them running effectively and efficiently. One of the main ways to increase the lifespan of these technologies is to increase the technologies that protect these, te uh, to increase the, excuse me, the best, one of the best ways to increase the technology of these satellites and radar systems is to protect the systems that um, affect these systems from debris and and environments like excessive heat. In my thesis research, I partnered with the Air Force and a fabrication company uh, to create a two-material ceramic composite that has the goal to withstand strengths at pressures up to a certain limit in an environment that reaches up to 1,000 degrees Celsius. Adjacently, this, if the material is effective in protecting from debris, but not effective in protecting from um, the RF transparency or, or it doesn't have an effective RF transparency to send RF signals through the material, it's useless. After much planning and action, we were able to design, fabricate, test, and identify a single material out of many that reaches the Air Force's goals for the strength of the material and the RF transparency, also known as the dielectric constant. The results obtained from my research may be used to protect systems of communication you know, that the, that the Army and Air Forces can send to be able to efficiently help our uh, soldiers be able to communicate. Even though they might not give you a, a message as important as mine in the beginning, you know, when it's most important, our soldiers will be able to communicate effectively so that the message is sent and received. Thank you.